So my name is Anil Prasad. Um, I'm a fuel scientist here with the Advanced Fuels and Reactive Physics branch. Um, so I'm the lead scientist working on the uh, project titled 3D Printing of Uranium Dioxide. So it all started even before I got to CNO. Um, so a scientist who was working on this project before me um, had this idea of trying to 3D print nuclear fuel um, so that you could make nuclear fuel safer and performing better. Um, so that, that inception sort of started from there, um, but the initial goal was to 3D print something called thorium dioxide, uh, which is a form of nuclear fuel. And we achieved that goal in 2018. So once we achieved that, we were sort of uh, looking for a new goal, um, and we thought, why not try and print uranium dioxide, which is of much more importance, uh, because it powers something like 99% of the uh, civil nuclear reactors around the world. Um, so, and that's what we did recently in 2022. We 3D printed uranium dioxide successfully. Um, and as far as we know from the open literature, this is the first time a fully monolithic uh, uranium dioxide structure was 3D printed. With me here, I have a plastic piece that essentially uh, resembles the nuclear fuel pellet and that goes into a reactor. This pellet, uranium dioxide, is a really bad conductor of heat. So the uh, center of it is at really high temperatures compared to the outer surface. And so it is really bad at conducting heat across it. So to be able to make a better nuclear fuel, we need to make something like this, which has really um, sort of uh, spiral channels um, running through it so that you can conduct the heat faster. Uh, but you can't essentially make that with uranium dioxide because of its properties using the conventional manufacturing process. Um, so we are exploring 3D printing so that we could essentially make a shape like this, which, is, which would lead to a better and safer performing nuclear fuel for future reactors. Our goal here at CNL is to be able to set up this technology um, so that we can attract fuel manufacturers and also fuel designers to approach us uh, with uh, really complex fuel designs that we could 3D print for them uh, and demonstrate that this technology could be used in the industry. That's essentially our future goal to set up the technology so that you know we, it could be either licensed or you know it could be uh, used in a collaborative manner for you know uh, furthering nuclear technology. Uh -huh.